Hey guys, it's Phantom, and welcome back, or welcome to my channel for a, uh, I guess, you know, origin help slash sims tips video, um, that was that I decided to do because of a comment, um, you know, saying, that said something along the lines of, you know, Sims won't open, what do I do? Like, it gets stuck, you know, on the homepage. So, um, for anyone wondering, okay, let's go to, let's go to game library here. Let's go to game library. And so, um, so to fix this right hold on we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot more than just window capture on for this so i'm gonna turn my display capture on hold on yeah and um show you Let's, let's have display capture on. So display capture is on. So, okay. So to answer this question, there are several things that could be happening to where your game will not launch. Um, you know, to where your Sims 4 or your Sims 3 might not open how it is supposed to. So, uh, where is it? Hold on. Hold on, let's put, let's put display capture above window capture. Yeah, okay. Alright, so, there are several reasons as to why your game may not be opening how it's supposed to. So, let's go ahead and um, go through everything, shall we? All right, so as you can see, I'm on my desktop screen, you know, my desktop home, home screen, Windows 10 home screen, and um, you might want to do this for like a uh, Mac as well, but this is, you know, I'm, I play on a PC, so. It's a bit different. So, um, okay, so. What you're going to want to do, this is a little bit different for Mac users, but um, what you're going to want to do is go here, click documents. Okay, so you're going to want to go to um, this tab here, this little folder tab thing. Uh, you're going to want to go to documents, electronic arts. Uh, sorry, the other one is for my editor, I believe. Uh, you're going to want to go to The Sims 4. You're going to want to go to, um, first you're going to want to go to CC, obviously, like, or mods. First you're, wanna, first you're going to want to go to custom content or, you know, mods. And, uh, you know, your mods folder, which is automatically already in your game. And, um, these are, these are, this is how my mods folder looks. So how your mods folder might look it might look a little bit different from mine because mine is organized um so mine is organized anyway you have your resource.cfg package file which is um needed for you know both your games or probably all of your games if you want to get custom content and mods and stuff This is, this is, um, a necessity. This is a necessity if you want to get, um, mods and custom content and whatnot on your, you know, in your game. So, one thing that might cause your game from not opening is, okay, is custom content and mods. One, if you have too many mods installed or... If your custom content is broken, because, you know, I've had a couple instances where my CC is broken. Um, 
you know, like where my custom content is broken. And if any of you are having like issues with things like the Road to Fame mod, just just fix the folders. There should be like there should be okay, so for example, how the Road to Fame mod is supposed to look. Right. You're supposed to have a folder with files. Okay, so if you're not getting like all the other extra knickknacks that come with this mod, let me just tell you. You need um you need files. You need something called files, which is just you know everything like everything that comes with the mod don't get rid of that because that is very important um and then you need this and then probably this as well so back to what i was saying okay so again mine my folder looks a little bit different then uh my folder looks a little bit different because i actually organized mine so some things that may cause your game to not open is uh you know broken mods broken custom con you know broken mods broken cc uh updates might cause your mods not to work properly so you have to um either get rid of them and re-download them properly or you know whatever but like having too much custom content will cause your game to not open or get stuck on the loading screen um that could be a problem if you're a person that you know gets a lot of mods and stuff like goes custom content shopping a lot and gets a lot of mods and um and whatnot so i have my folder here organized so i have so i have my folder here organized with like a bunch of subfolders so i have so mine is organized by a uh, baby clothing you know baby for like baby items um you know, like baby items from baby clothing to furniture to anything uh, baby and kid related uh, for my for my game. And then I have a clothing folder. Then I have a clothing folder here. Oops. Yeah. Then I have a clothing folder, which has all of my clothes. <laughs> you know, for my sims, so I keep, so I get all my package files and put them in here, um, and then, you know, hair, you know, all my hair goes in here, um, and then my actual mods are, then my actual mods are down here, and then I have one, and then I have a folder for shoes. I only really have one pair of shoes, but I'll probably get more uh, when I go CC shopping, but I don't want to go overboard. Um, so yeah, I keep my folders very organized. I'm not too sure on like the, uh, I'm not too sure on Sims 3, but if you guys want to look at my Sims 3 folder here, Look at my mods folder here, uh, oops, hold on, I'm sorry. Um, so I have, you know, I just have like two things in my mods folder here, not very, not very exciting. Um, you know, I have like all my, I have all my mods for my game and I only really have two folders for that or like one folder. And then I have the resource.cfg package file, which is very important. Um, and that's pretty much it. So like the thing, the thing that is different from the Sims 3 to Sims 4. So there's like two ways to get custom content if you're not familiar. So you have mods for like all your mods and 
custom content that isn't Sims resource related. And then you have, uh, what is it? Your downloads folder here. Yeah. Then you have your downloads folder with like, so basically this is like all of your mods and stuff from your, you know, from TSR and whatnot. And yeah, so too many mods and broken CC will be one way that your game will not. Okay, another way. So that's, so that's one way, right? Turn window capture on. Uh, so that's one way, right? Another way is, um, another way could be, another way might be, um, you know, updates, as I said. Updates could cause your game to crash. Um, or having your settings or having your settings too high um or you know having your settings too high or something like that i'm not really i'm not really sure how to answer this question because there's like so many ways that your game could crash But just a heads up, if you notice that your game is crashing, check if you have any broken, you know, check if you have any broken custom content, any old mods, um, you know, that don't work anymore or that aren't supported anymore, um, or whatever, and just, you know, clean out your mods folder from time to time because once, like, if that gets too full, your game will not open. Um, I don't know if this person plays with mods specifically, but they always tell you, the game always tells you to be careful when, um, downloading mods. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, I'm sure there's like other ways sure there's other ways but I'm not sure like I guess I could look something I guess I could look up a list um Okay, so here is, here is a list, here's a list of, uh, why, of why your game might not open, um, you know, why your game might not open, um, you know, a damaged install, whatever that means. Um, the cache files are corrupted or outdated. Uh, if you don't know what cache files are, it, there's this folder labeled cache on it. Um, cache spelled. I'm not talking about. Talk, I'm not talking about money cache. I'm talking about like. Um, Talking about cash spelled C A C H E cash cash files. The origin cash files are outdated and corrupted. The mods in Sims 4 might be might be problematic. Um yeah, mods mods is a big one, as I've said before. Um which is why you should uninstall you know, which is why you should take out broken mods or mods you do not use anymore. Um, 
installation or, you know, your antivirus software might stop the game from opening. Third party applications use too much of your system's memory. Like, I've noticed that, so, you know, sometimes your computer might not be able to handle, like, all your packs and stuff. Um, like, whether it's for The Sims 3 or The Sims 4, your game or your computer, your system, whatever you're playing on, might not be able to handle the, um, you know, might not be able to handle the uh, amount of packs you have, which is why don't install a pack like one after the other. Like basically what I do, I install, okay, so when it comes to packs, right? I install a pack, make sure that it works, and then I install another one and then make sure that works. And, you know, you have to install it properly or else... You have to install it properly or else it won't run. Um, also, codes are... Codes are a single-use thing. And also, codes are case-sensitive. I will... You know, I will answer some more comments in another FAQ video because I've gotten a couple of comments um, about that, actually. And, um, you know, antivirus software stops the game from opening. Third-party applications use too much of your system. Too much. Your system reasons your PC is outdated. Which is why, you know, you have to, like, upgrade your parts and stuff. Like, sometimes, sometimes certain, sometimes certain games won't, like, recognize your, you know, certain parts in your computer. So you have to, like, get, an, like, get new parts that will be recognized by the game. Um, and stuff like that. And then a couple couple other things a couple other things might be like were you know a couple other things according to this list here you know repair the game which you can do that in origin it's very very easy uh you just click that and you click repair so basically what you do you go into origin like i am right now you click repair and it should repair everything um you know update you know update your drivers like your um update your video card driver and update your network controller driver or whatever um reset sims 4 reinstall sims 4's origin which basically you just uninstall it and reinstall it like clean install um or reinstall sims 4 or origin or both um and then perform a clean and then perform a clean boot of your computer um so yeah there's a lot of reasons why your game might not be working. So, uh, one common thing, again, is, um, you know, broken CC or mods or outdated mods. Or too many mods. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Um, I do plan on filming more content today, hopefully. I do have a video I need to edit today. You know, Let's Play episode I need to edit today.
so yeah, I hope this answered your question. If you have any more questions, just, you know, leave it down for me in the comments and I might answer in a FAQ video. Um, you know, I might answer in another FAQ video because I have a lot of, because I have a lot of questions <laughs> building up in my comments. So yeah, um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment,